Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Bea from Responsive Muse and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get a free widget. It's called um, UserWay and what it does is it makes your website accessible to visually impaired and for blind or even for the elderly. Okay. So what you get is you can get you can make your fonts a bit bigger, you can increase the contrast or you can even lower it and you can also make it accessible to navigate with with a keyboard so it's very very easy to use and usually designers can drive themselves crazy and it can be really frustrating because you might not not know where to start so if you get this widget and you get it into your adobe muse website easy don't worry then uh, the user can actually choose how they want the website to look okay so if you visit userway.org, then you can read here all about it. And it's actually translated into 24 languages and it will identify the user's language. So what I'm going to do is first get on, click here and get the widget. And you have to follow all these steps. First, you have to click on, you have to type the website address. All this is for, um, an accessibility statement that you'll see further on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our demo our healthcare premium template so this is the yep this is the this website and I'm going to agree to the user way policy and click on next step two is what's my name so what I'm going to write here is a responsive and the email address, which is click on next. So here, what you can do is you can choose the, um, the button. Okay. So if you see this button up here, so this is what you're going to get and you can choose all the way and customize it, or even though you can click on skip if you don't want to. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on next. And here you have six different positions where you want to to place it i'm going to leave it up here so the red button it means the red circle means where you've selected it so i'm going to leave it here you can click it any other place but i'm going to leave it here i'm going to click on next and here is does your website already have an accessibility statement if not don't worry we'll help you with that later so mine actually does so you can click on yes or no i'm going to click on yes so you guys see how what, what the statement looks like and now you click on next and if you want you have to click here the the address of your site a statement so if not you can actually click on click, uh, sorry click on skip sorry and then you get the code so this is the code that you have to copy so directly click here on copy so it's copied to your clipboard all right, so this is the, the, the one that you have to bring it into Muse. So next steps is that they're going to verify that, that you have it in your website. And if you skip these this steps, then here you get the statement that you can actually copy and bring it into your website. All right, so my code is, is copied into the clipboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring it into Adobe Muse. I have our healthcare template here opened. So it's very easy. So the only step that you have to do is click on object and insert HTML. Paste the code here and click on OK. So I'm just going to bring down this embed HTML. Don't worry if you don't see anything. You're not supposed to. Everything is set. You've chosen the color, the position. So it's going to do its own work now. Okay, so I'm going to preview it. The good thing is that it also works on Muse Preview. So this is the site. And here's the icon up here. So what I'm going to do is click on it. So you see you get all these options, this menu. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the contrast, for example. So you can, I, I'm going to invert the colors. 
or just use a light contrast. It will work all over the website. Okay. And you can go back to normal too. And what if um, grandma wants to, 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 to read this website so I can bring, get this with a bigger text, an even bigger text. And more and more and more. Also, you can choose to desaturate. Highlight links, so you know this is a link. Legible fonts, so it will actually change it a little bit. You can actually read the page. And... It's actually reading it. A bigger cursor. And keyboard navigation, which means that I can use the keys from the... Yeah, I'm actually using the keys right now to navigate. Or also, you get to choose a whole bunch of them together. So that will depend on the user, all right? The user can, can choose what looks better for him and what is easier for him to, to view the, the website. Okay, so I hope you guys like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.